The Harford County home of Keith and Jacqueline Smith has the appearance now of an unkept property out of character in the townhouse community outside Aberdeen. Keith Smith hadn't been around much since Jacqueline died, neighbors told us, and a month ago he moved out altogether. Neighbors found it so odd, one took a picture. He moved out on February the 4th and he came in one night with a very large moving truck and rapidly loaded it the next day and we never saw him since. Another neighbor said Smith had gone to Florida. On February 19th, Harford County sheriffs went to the house to assist another agency. That suggests Baltimore investigators may have been there to search for evidence. Smith and daughter Valeria were arrested Sunday morning in Texas, not far from the Mexican border. They have waived extradition on nine charges related to Jacqueline Smith's murder. Investigators do not need to identify motive in murder cases, but juries like to hear of one. Smith's history of robbing the same Timonium Bank three times because he told police he needed the money will have investigators looking for clues in the family's finances. Was there an insurance policy, excessive debt? What was the personal relationship between the two at the time Jacqueline Smith was killed? In their Harford County community, neighbors say there was no outward sign of trouble. They were always very pleasant. I never had any, any kind of incident over there. I never anything that was unusual. Baltimore homicide detectives are in Texas. One, detectives are in Texas. One thing they hope to do is to interview Keith Smith and Valeria Smith. They had interviewed him back in December when all of this first unfolded. A spokesperson for the local jail in Texas told me that it's not expected that Keith and Valeria Smith will be returned to Baltimore until next week. Reporting live tonight from police headquarters, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.